everything. All right, guys, we are back in Free Code Camp doing the advanced algorithm scripting pairwise. Now, what are we trying to do? We have a function that takes in an array, such as this one here, and then it takes in a number. And what we want to do is see if any of the indexes when added together equal that number. And then we want to return the two index spots added together and any other matches and return that number. So essentially in our example here, we're looking to see if any of the numbers add up to 20. So seven plus 13 does. Seven is the zero index. 13 is the third index, so that's three. And then nine and 11 is one and two, so that's three. So we would return six. So how did I solve this one? Um, some, I saw a lot of really complicated solutions. I always try to use, uh, make things as simple as possible. The way that I did it was I created a variable called total. This will be what we end up storing uh, the indexes in and the, what we ultimately end up returning. I then created an array var called uh, var check or check index. Now why I created an array is pretty simple. Um, if we don't have the array to check, uh, we're going to actually get duplicates. Now, there's a couple ways that you could probably do this. Now that I'm thinking about it, you probably could have just divided by two and it would have worked just fine. I didn't even think of that till right about now. But uh, hey, <laughs> that probably would have worked now that I think about it. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how I did it. The first thing that we're going to do is actually create two for loops. The first for loop is is going to be to iterate through the first uh, index that you're checking. So we're going to set var i is equal to zero, while i is less than our argument, our array argument, our array parameter dot length. And then we want to iterate up plus one, so i plus plus. Now, because we're comparing to, we're going to compare the zero index to every index after it to see if it adds up. We need another for loop. And this one, uh, because it's going to always start at whatever i is plus one. So if it's at z you start at zero index, you're going to check with one, two, three. If you're at the one index, you're going to check two, three, four, five, etc. So we're going to start with var j is equal to i plus one. And then this is going to be same same sort of thing. It's going to be the while j is less than r dot length j plus plus. So we have our two for loops. If you got to here, um, troubleshooting this uh, should be pretty straightforward. The next thing we need is our conditional statement, basically saying, look, if the current index, our first index, i plus our second index, excuse me, that we're check checking, if this is actually equal to the argument that we pass in, or equal to, in our case, seven here, and we want to check our index right now, our index array, and say, look, index of i is equal, equal to negative 1. This means that it's not contained within the array. That's what we're checking right now. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, our second value, or the, the index spot one, 1 over that we're uh, adding. If that's also equal to, to negative 1, meaning that it's not in the array, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and just add it so that we don't get duplicates down the road. So we're just going to push that index, the i, and then we're going to go ahead and check index.push the j. And now we're going to go ahead and add to our total. Set total is equal to, or plus equals to, i plus j. We're going to add those values. At the end of it here, all we need to do is go ahead and return total and we'll have it solved. Let's go ahead and run it make sure we didn't get any errors. I seem to have made a slight error somewhere, so let me check my work real quick. Oh, I see our error. So we have a little error right here. This is uh, accidentally put at equals. We actually need to put that. And now when we return total, Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So our logic was good. We just had a little uh, error here. But let's go ahead and work through the code one more time. You'll see here that we have a total to keep track of the indexes that we're adding. 
our check index array is there so that we don't have duplicates when we're adding this. We then have a for loop. This is going to take one index that we're going to iterate through the rest of the array with our second for loop. The J here is set to be one step ahead of the J. This is really so that uh, we don't add one index over each other as well as save some time iterating in the code, but that's just a side effect. We then add check if that value equals the number and it's not contained in the array. Then we add it to the array so that we don't get duplicate data, add it to total, and we return total. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope Hopefully I'll uh, be able to do more of these pretty soon. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share, and special thanks to you for supporting my, me on Patreon. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and support me on Patreon. And if you're looking for additional video material to supplement your learning, go ahead and check out Team Treehouse. And if you're a recent graduate or a current college student looking for part-time work, full-time work, or internships, check out wayup.com. As always, I'll see you guys next time.